There's an old saying that you don't know where you're going until you know where you've been. And with 2019 now upon us, the best place to prepare is by looking back at what 2018 taught us. If we learned anything in the cybersecurity world, it's that fear is still a powerful agent for criminals to leverage. I'm Andy with the CISO Perspective, and today we're going to look at five terrifying cybersecurity trends for 2019. Number five, sextortion emails. In July, security researchers began reporting a new wave of email phishing attempts that threatened to release captured webcam footage of users if they did not pay a ransom. The poorly written email would start by stating the user's actual password and that they have complete control of their system. Once that got your attention, they would go on to tell you that they've recorded you doing some compromising things through your webcam and they're going to send it to everyone on your contact list if you don't pay the Bitcoin address. To make it appear more authentic, these attackers would spoof the source email address to make it look like it was coming from your own personal email. Of course, after some research, it was determined that the attacker did not actually have access to your system, but they were using your leaked passwords from previous public breaches. The attacker would find leaked credentials from websites like the now defunct leaksource.com, which would index passwords from public breaches and then send this email to users who were affected by the breach. If you're practicing good password hygiene, like not reusing the same password for various sites or constantly rotating them, you probably would have noticed that whatever password the attacker had is not being used anymore and likely to ignore it. Still, these scammers received as much as $50,000 in one week. This is a good reminder to everyone. Rotate your passwords and be careful what you do in front of the webcam. Number four, webcam hacker threatens to kidnap baby. Last month, a Texas couple heard disturbing noises coming from their baby's room. As they entered the room, a man's voice is heard coming from their cloud-enabled baby monitor saying, I'm in your baby's room and I'm going to kidnap your baby. The parents and the baby were both fine. The voice appeared to have been coming from someone who had remotely accessed their Nest camera in the cloud. Sadly, there were other reports of strangers talking and even threatening people through their Nest camera. These disturbing stories are examples of how IoT devices continue to be an area of concern for businesses and consumers. Shodan is a popular search engine for devices connected to the internet, except instead of looking for websites, Shodan crawls IP space for information on IoT devices. It does this by grabbing service banners that indicate the type of devices that's connected to the IP. Attackers will go on Shodan and search for devices or specific manufacturers that they're looking to target, so it shouldn't come as much of a surprise that the top searches on Shodan are for webcam, cams, and netcams. If you have an unprotected device connected to the internet, there's a good chance it can show up on Shodan and therefore available to anyone who sees it. A firewall will help block these web crawlers and other unauthorized users from accessing your internal devices. However, a firewall won't help you if a device requires a cloud connection and there's always a risk that someone can infiltrate that cloud and steal your credentials. Number three, Hitmen for Hire. Another terrifying phishing attempt that made its rounds in 2018 was a $4,000 Hitman email. In another poorly written email, the attacker would claim to own a darknet website that provided murder for hire services and they found your name as one of the targets. Being the generous person that they are, they wanted to reach out to you and offer the ability to cancel the hit for $4,000. The attacker would then provide a Bitcoin address and a deadline of 38 hours to pay. While this got the attention of several law enforcement agencies, including the FBI's, this looks to not have been a legitimate threat and there is no evidence that anyone has actually paid the extortion attempt. While this lacked the subtlety and precision of the sextortion email, it did show that phishing attempts are trying to use fear as leverage. Perhaps the scariest thing of all is that hitmen for hire sites do exist on the dark web. Despite the closing of the notorious Silk Road Onion website, other murder for hire sites have popped up and can be accessible through a Tor connection. Number two, attacks by our own devices. 2018 was a huge year for IoT devices, but as TVs, refrigerators, and baby monitors all got smarter, they also became ticking time bombs for large-scale botnet attacks against us. According to a 2018 report by Nexus Guard, the average large-scale DDoS attack increased 500% in 2018. This massive increase is being attributed largely to the giant influx of IoT devices being compromised and joining the army of botnets available for attack. By May 2018, an estimated 500,000 routers were infected by VPN filter. The ghost DNS attack was responsible for another 100,000 home routers. At one point, the Mirai Satori botnet was seen from over 280,000 IP addresses over a 12-hour period, and the newer Anarchy botnet was able to amass 18,000 routers in a single day. Attackers are targeting IoT devices for a number of reasons, but the most obvious is that they make for perfect botnets. Once compromised, they sit there undetected until they're called upon to launch an attack. And once you've compromised one device, you can generally use the same attack against all devices with the same vulnerability. 
Number one, supply chain poisoning. Bloomberg's October article of Chinese spy chips embedded into some of the world's biggest companies caused ripples through the cybersecurity industry. The article gained mainstream media attention and called on companies like Apple and Google to investigate their physical servers for the presence of these tiny spy chips. The problem is, no proof was ever found that these tiny chips actually made it into the physical servers of these U.S. companies. And after Apple and Google finished their own investigation, they called on Bloomberg to retract the article, which at the time of this video, they have yet to do. However, this article did bring an awareness to a very real problem, supply chain attacks. A supply chain attack occurs when someone infiltrates your system through an outside partner or provider with access to your data. It can come in the way of physical chips embedded inside servers, but much more commonly it comes through third-party software. According to a survey from the Panaman Institute, 56% of organizations that have had a breach say it was caused by one of their vendors. The 2014 Target breach and this year's Equifax breach are both examples of supply chain attacks. The CISO Perspective So what can we make of these security trends for 2019? Well, we know phishing attacks are going to get smarter and IoT devices need additional security controls. Phishing has always been a numbers game. Majority of people won't click or open an email, but if I can just get one person out of 500 to open it, then I've been successful as an attacker. But introducing even a tiny bit of personalization can dramatically change those odds. An email that includes a password you may have used in the past has a far better likelihood of being open than the generic mass emails we usually get. With IoT devices, we've known for some time that they shouldn't be trusted, and as such, good security practice is to isolate them off into their own network with no access into internal resources. But you should also be controlling all inbound and outbound traffic to and from the IoT devices. Locking down the outbound traffic can prevent it from becoming a DDoS agent, and blocking inbound connections would prevent it from being mapped by attackers and other web crawlers like Shodan. So that does it for this video, and I hope you found it informative. Please comment, hit like, and subscribe to stay on top of our latest releases.